what is up everybody justin here the winds of change is the channel name thank you for stopping by hey before we get started i'm gonna start pushing this unashamedly go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you've seen my content before and you're not a subscriber make sure that you do it i appreciate it and if this is new i understand that you may not be too sure about subscribing to somebody with a name like the winds of change who does this retail arbitrage thing for amazon fba and resells items that he finds in stores to make money and that's okay go ahead and watch the video check out some of the other videos as well because i'm sure i've hit some stores that you have in your area not like this one bargain hunt bargain hunt is where we're going today and i realize that a lot of you do not have bargain hunts i couldn't even tell you where they're located at what part of the country they're in i'm in ohio i've got some here i know they've got some in indiana and down south so i'm not the bargain hunt map guy but i am the guy who's going to take you in here and see what we can find to resell on amazon fba for a profit So Bargain Hunt is just a place that has a ton of stuff like Ollie's. It's like a discount store. Um, we'll probably go to Ollie's too, actually. So stick around for that. There's one right up the street. Let's just put these together. Let's put our Bargain Hunt and Ollie's trips together. Let's do that. I'm going to get these. These are Special K Protein. $2.5. $2.50. They expire on August 16th, 2022 which I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do these FBA or not, honestly. So you have to be from the time that they get to the warehouse, 90 days on FBA. But that 90 days um, it has to be after the amount is expired. So for example, if you got like 120 pills, after it gets to the warehouse, you have to have 120 days plus like 90 days. So with something like this, that's cereal, I'm not really positive, honestly, because I'm just starting to get into grocery. But worst case scenario, this uh, isn't able to do it on FBA. I'm going to sell it on uh, Fulfilled by Merchant. And for spending $2.50 and making almost $7 back, that's going to be worth it, right? So worst case scenario, I guess, as well, I could just eat them. They sound good and healthy. So let's pick those up. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. This one I'm going to leave behind because the box is crushed. Also on those, I did have to ask for approval. I did get auto ungated. Uh, unfortunately, Amazon seller app is still doing this thing where if you get ungated on the app, it still shows you as restricted so you have to actually go to a pc and do it but uh it's been successful for me every time i don't know why the app gets stuck like that but that's what happens moving down to the next food aisle here now i did sell a ton of these actually by a ton i mean probably like 30 or 40 um last month but these are expiring may 13th which which is less than a month i sold all of the other ones to fill up by merchant which i can do with those but honestly i'm not going to sell somebody something that's going to expire in a couple weeks right so i'm going to pass up on those unfortunately mrs dash i probably will pick up this um i've been selling these pretty well um spending 10 making about four or five bucks on each one so i'm going to get the last one of these one of the cool things about retail arbitrage is that you can find replenishables for example, this Bare Naked, I'm paying $2.50 for it and selling for $12, uh, fulfilled by merchant, making about 5 bucks. I got these at another bargain hunt, so <clears throat> I guess technically it's not a replenishable, but I found these at another bargain hunt, so what I'm looking for here specifically is more of these, right, if that makes sense. So you find something in one place and you're like, oh, hey, that makes good money, let's go to another place. Uh, and see if we can find the same thing. So you go to all the bargain hunts you can find to see if you can find these specific items because you already know what you're looking for. So I'm already sold out of the ones that I had. So I'm gonna pick up all these here. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's one way back there. And we're making about five bucks on each. So about 40 to $45. 
And with these, I'm actually gonna go ahead and list them right here in the store because I am selling them FBM. I can go ahead and get them listed. That way they're uh, up for sale. I might even sell some before I get out of the store, who knows. So check this guy out. I would make um, like 20 bucks on this guy. The problem is, is there's only one, right? So 30 sells for 65, upwards of 90. There's only one of them though. So what I've learned is that big items like this, they're gonna wanna send them somewhere like besides all my other stuff. So what I mean by that is I'll have a box of items that I'm sending somewhere that's gonna cost me $8 for 40 pounds. And then they'll have me send that thing somewhere completely separate that's gonna cost me like $15 to ship it by itself. I just got a bunch of those. I think I picked up like 10 or 15 of them for $22.50 at another bargain hunt and uh, sent them all in and it cost me $80 to ship them in four boxes. So, I mean, that's that's pretty astronomical for Amazon. Amazon, like I said, I normally send anywhere between 30 and 50 pounds for eight bucks. But I'm in Ohio, they wanted me to ship it all the way to Texas, uh, to that warehouse. So I did that because it was worth it, right? I had enough of them, there was enough profit that paying the shipping would be worth it. Just picking up one of them, sadly though, not worth it. So I'm gonna leave it behind. They've got a lot of uh, soap, shampoo, health and beauty type products. Um, I have not seen anything really that is gonna make us any money over here. But uh, this is a section that I always check out because you can find some really good things to resell. Just haven't found any today at Bargain Hunt. Take that back. A deodorant called Mega Babe. Eight dollars, actually eight fifty, but the gray is on sale half off. So it looks like these are going to be about four twenty-five, selling for twenty-three. So what eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Make twelve dollars on these. Pretty decent seller rank as well. They're supposed to have this little cap on them that you can see right here. It's a little plastic cap. This one has it, so I'm gonna keep this one. These two do not have it, so I'm actually gonna leave them there. But I'll pick up the one after we put the lid back on, right? Okay, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We've just got the cereal that I already have listed, some more cereal, some seasoning, a deodorant, and some Dukes because I'm a little hungry. So let's get out of here and head to Ollie's. Okay. Bargain hunt complete, spent $56, looking to make about $80 profit off of that. So that's not too bad. We weren't in there very long at all. Let's go ahead and head to Ollie's because I know a lot of you have Ollie's in your area. At least that's what I think. I think I've heard more people talk about Ollie's than I have talked about bargain hunt. So if you don't have either in your area, well, there's plenty of other places that you can source for profitable products. But today, we're going to be focusing on those two, Ollie's and Bargain Hunt. Let's go. So a lot of these discount stores, Bargain Hunt, Ollie's, those kind of places, have the uh, similar items, right? So if you find something in one, you can always look at the other. Now, I've sold a lot of Febreze in the past, but for some reason, like, none of these Febrezes are coming up. I tried to take a picture scan and do the barcode, none of them are coming up, so I'm not going to be trying to create a listing for that because that's just not something that, uh, that we do. Here's something interesting. Ziplocs. Um, I did just get approved for them, so that's cool by checking these. Auto-approved. But these are 12 storage uh gallon sliders so there's a 12 bags four limited edition designs two dollars and fifty cents selling for like almost thirteen dollars so amazon fees on that are crazy for some reason uh they're going to charge you like seven dollars in fees but you're still going to come out with about three dollars so some of these you wouldn't be able to do as new because they've got obvious rips but look at all these one two three four five i don't even gonna count because they got them back there they got them all down there. And so if you wanted to pick those up and make, you know, $3 on each one, you're probably looking at probably close to, I'd probably say about $70 to $100, depending on how many that there are. But the seller rank is 186000 in health and beauty. 
um, which is pretty good. Um, I checked the keeper graph and they're selling, you know, close to 20 a month or something like that. And, you know, during the holidays, the price will probably go down and uh, you'll sell more. I don't know why it's in health and beauty. That happens all the time. Stuff gets miscategorized. So that'll be something interesting. If you wanted to pull that trigger, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep looking to try to find something better. Right now, I haven't found anything to resell, but I did find the uh, Go Set a Watchman personal use. This is the sequel by Harper Lee to To Kill a Mockingbird, which one of the best books ever written, by the way. Not my opinion, it's a fact. Let's see what we can find. Here's something you gotta watch out for too. So like this, uh, The Game of Life, it is $12.99, selling for $31 new. Um, I'm guessing because it is The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, it is in uh, like Amazon exclusive. Because you can definitely sell life games, or at least I can. On this one, you have to sell it as a collectible like new. The only new seller is Amazon. And if you look, it doesn't say you're restricted, or at least it doesn't say I'm restricted. But then down a little bit on the seller app, it says you cannot sell this in new condition. And all the collectible like news are selling for like 22, so you're not going to make any money on that because it's 13. But if I could sell that for 31, like Amazon's doing, that would be awesome. But be careful about that because you don't want to say, oh, it's not restricted, and then buy a bunch of them and then uh, go to list them and find out otherwise. Got some uh, Frozen 2 Elsa's 14 inch scene doll. There's a few of them back there. Um, they're pretty big. They're twenty dollars, and they're selling for like thirty-seven, thirty-eight on Amazon. Um, Ninety thousand seller ranking. You make about four dollars on those. I like to stay at about forty percent ROI. So if I'm spending twenty, I'm gonna want to make uh, about eight. So that's a little low for me. But maybe if some of y'all are out there and that's in your parameters, those are those are there to do coming around to the um, health and beauty we've got these coconut and mint degree deodorant we're paying two dollars for them they're selling for 11 at a 27,000 seller rank now for some reason the app is bringing them up as in the um, grocery category but they are selling quickly and we're gonna make about four to five dollars on each of these I did get approved, if you don't believe me, you can check right up here to the left of the screen and you can see the auto approval process. But we've got, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then it looks like there's another box of twelve back there. Let's see, <clears throat> let's put these here, there's twelve there, and then it looks like, yeah, another twelve there. So we're looking at about a hundred dollars or more on these just these deodorants here so that's pretty sweet i'm gonna get them all i'm gonna pick these up too dove bubble bath glowing care they are four dollars now the seller rank is like uh over two hundred thousand. i checked the keeper graph and they sold like five or six this week so they're selling fairly steadily i know that at over two hundred thousand, these things are still going to sell but i'm not going to go in super deep on them um just because they do have a little bit higher of a seller rank. Make it five dollars each. So I'm gonna get eight, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, so forty all together. Some people do really well, like selling pet items. I don't know a whole lot about pet items, so I usually pass it up, but there will be a day where I uh I keep looking in pet items. I've sold a few pet related things, but just not something I've made part of my uh normal sourcing trip can't get it all right so check these out protein coffee eight dollars selling for 30 super fast twenty five thousand seller rank i believe and uh you can make twelve dollars on them but i'm going to show you why i'm not going to pick them up check this out so here's the listing but look at the other sellers even though i can get approved for it um i did get the auto approval but look who's selling it Look down here, where it says the Complete Nutrition Store. Complete Nutrition Brands. That's a bad sign, 
because this is made by Complete Nutrition Brands. You may be able to get out doing that um, scot-free without any IP complaints, but if the brand is selling it, I'm gonna assume that they're not gonna want a lot of other people competing with them and, and could strike against your account. So despite the awesome profit and sales rank, I'm gonna stay away from those. I suggest you do the same. All right, so we're gonna take off, search the rest of the store. We just got our personal book here. We got the deodorants, um, which are probably the highlight of the store. And then we've got uh, the bubble bath up there. Let's go ahead and check out. Okay, Ollie's and Bargain Hut, about $200 profit from the two stores. It's that easy. You just gotta look. You don't always have to know what you're looking for. I had no idea that those deodorants were gonna be selling for $11 on the internet. And so you can't ever tell yourself, oh, I'm not gonna check that because it's not gonna be worth anything, right? You have to get ideas into your head, you know, like of certain things you wanna look for. So I wanna look at deodorants and shampoos and body washes, right? I don't know specific ones that I'm looking for, but I know that I'm gonna search those types of items. And then you scan something and you're like, whoa, $5 profit on each of these and there's 24 of them, heck yeah. And they got a fast seller rank, that's pretty sweet. That's the power of Amazon FBA. That's retail arbitrage, that's how it works. You're finding something somewhere cheap and selling it online to somewhere else for more money. Now, would you pay $11 for that uh, deodorant? Maybe, I wouldn't, but it doesn't matter if I would or not because I don't use that kind. What matters is that somebody else will. Maybe they discontinued it. Maybe the people that uh, wear that deodorant really like it and they can't find it anymore. So they're gonna pay $12 for it. Heck, maybe they'd pay 20 for it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm glad that you all came along. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want more content like this. Until we meet again, keep hustling, and I'll keep hustling, and we'll all keep working and making money. Don't be a jerk. Make the world a better place. I'll catch you guys later.